I've actually got more of a question re regarding a student who's having trouble pitching. Um, he's relatively new, so going to be at his third lesson. Um, and he, he had classical training when he was younger, he was in a choir. Um, he sings under the notes. When he sings his song, he sings under the notes, but he sings in key. It's like he's singing a harmony all the time, under. And then I'll get to the piano and I go through scale, he'll sing under again. And I go, no, you've got to come up. Then he will sing over, but a harmony. And to get him in the center just takes, for, and I get him, oh, right, great, I've got you. And then it'll just happen again and again and again. And I'm like, how do I deal with this guy? I think you'd just start with single notes, wouldn't you? Just, just kind of moving up or randomised. Yeah, I'll give him a single note, just sing this note, and then will sing under it. Slide, sliding or, sliding you know, to the note and sliding to the note and giving an example. So we play this note and they sing this note, which harmonizes, right? Is that the situation? Am I understanding this correctly? Yeah, well, he, mm -hmm. he almost sings it perfectly low. He doesn't even slide to it. Oh, he tries to, he, oh, come on, come up, come up, come up, and he'll start sliding, going up, going up. And I'm going, a little bit more, a little bit more. You're still yep. a so semi try flat. Come try on. Not, try not just saying, but also doing them for them and with them. So if they're singing, if we are aiming here and they are there, you go, okay, so we're aiming here, you there, let's go up on the note with a slide and repeat it with them. So I find sliding <coughs> for like along with the students who are very, very pitchy, very, very helpful. So mm -hmm. if they cannot adjust to the note, just find the sound that they are doing, join them on it and drag them up there or down there along. Yeah. And they will understand, usually this is... Sliding with them, as, as, yeah. as for, for example. It, my lessons with him are very drawn out and very slow moving because of it. You know, it's just like, man, it's going to be a long, long road with this guy. <laughs> so... But yeah, okay, I'll try that. Okay, I tell you, I tell you what, we always should be doing with someone like that. Okay, so um, he, he's got a pitching issue, and maybe he's been in choir. Maybe that's all he's done. He's only ever done harmonies. I don't know. Okay, possibly that's it. But yeah, what, you've got to, what you've got to do is, like Jay said, you've got to reverse engineer, but you need to clearly tell him what he's doing wrong. Okay, now I know that you've said it, but you say, look. You're singing above or below the notes, and you just give him one single note and just say, okay, this is the note. Art, and then you sing it, art, and then you play it, and then he's got to do it. Then you record yep. the next one like that, and you've got to say to him, uh, whatever his name is, Jeff, dude, we've yep. got to keep the notes because what you're doing, you're, you're harmonizing perfectly to the note, but we need to sing. When we're singing songs, we need to sing them in concert pitch for now. We want to use the actual artist as a um, as a soundboard. And you need to keep on going and just doing that one scale until he does it, then record it, then do it in class. Because if he's going home and doing it incorrectly at home, we're effed. So you need That's to right. he needs to just right. have yeah. that one scale and he needs to work through that one scale before he goes to any other scales. No other scales should be given to him until he's got that. Then when he's got that, if he's still no good, you do two notes. Na, na, that's it. And then yeah. you do one. Ah, uh, we're doing two notes. Yeah, well, but the main thing is he's starting in key. And if, it's, and if he's now, if he's got his starting in key problem addressed, then we can give him more complicated scales. But you ne you always reverse engineer to the, to the simplest to the simplest form, and that what Jay said is the simplest form, single note. And you always generally work out where they're speaking because they're speaking in the key, and you start there. So that's where you'd start. You'd start me here. Uh, I, I, you basically can't go wrong unless he's unless he's got you know unless he's really got some 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 ear issues. Mm. Well, with with the the songs that he sings, he as I said, he'll sing under, and I'll I'll go. Be starting right here. This is the first note you're singing, and I'll just play that one note, and I'll get him to try and sing it. And when I do get him on it, 
he'll sing it usually. Or I'll get him on that note and I'll go, okay, now sing it. And then he'll sing it under again. I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> I'd also um, be to make sure it's um, from a singer of the same sex and voice type so he can, like, pretty much exactly copy his tone and volume. Good point. Yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, it's a folky guy. It's a guy singer, and it's very similar to his kind of approach. Um, yeah. And that's the thing I put in my notes um, for, for my month, and that is finding songs – for every all of my individual students and personalities that are perfect for their voice but also songs that will give them vocal progression and and better technique um just songs that are going to push push the boundaries with them each I'm time i'm gonna butt in there because there's three other questions i want to answer from the last three minutes so i've just lost the other three questions but i'm going to address this one here now as i've already said before I get my students to send me over five or 10 songs because um, there, there's a balance when you're picking out songs, okay? Mm. You want to do a song that is going to get them to sing well, but not too hard and also not too easy as well too. So you've got to have that middle ground. And I spend a lot more time on that now uh, than what I used to three, four, five, 10 years ago. So it's a really big thing because you can break someone's um, confidence in in a wrong song and they will stop and they will go somewhere else and they'll do something. So you can break someone's, but you know, we also want them to get, get the skill out of it. Um, so that's a thing to do with that. Darren as well too, just to go back to this particular gentleman that's in this class as well too. Um, I, um, I never give, um, I never give a big dog too much lead. So as soon as he makes a, a, a mistake, I stop him straight away. Stop, that's it, no. I stop the song, stop the scale, do we're out of key. Let's start again, start yeah. again. But we've got to do it this way because this is how everyone sings um, and I always stop things straight away. And that's that's like even, and again, this is no disrespect against you guys, but I'm, I watch some of the lessons that get sent through for critiquing and I hear stuff and I go, I would have stopped it then, but the student has to do it three, four, five times before you guys pick it up. And that's what separates me from the rest at the moment is me, I can I can just even hear something and I just go, okay, I would have stopped that and said so that was flat and addressed it right there and then. So my you know, my lessons are very much Canadian bacon. There's no fat on them. I, I, and I, I address things straight away. So that's another point there. Yeah. Ex any, anything to do with that there? Uh, no, I, I, I will start doing that more because I feel, I felt that uh, sometimes I'll let them get through the whole song and I'll be making notes of the sections exactly where I need to go back and address. And then I, instead of starting, especially if we're breaking down a fresh song, um, I'll go back to those exact sections and address them first and say, here, this bridge um, is, is not, not working. Let's address that first in the song. Then we'll go back and start from the top. Jay, can, uh, you, just make, can you just make a, a, a note here 40 minutes into this, into this video? So can, are you able to download this video, edit from the 40-minute mark or just before Darren started speaking just now? Yeah. And to when we had that question answered, I think it's going to be a great segment to put on onto YouTube about what we just spoke then. Yes. I mean, we should publicly do that. So you know what I want to do? You, I want to edit this section of the video from here backwards for the last uh, seven minutes from just that discussion, if that makes sense. Yeah. I think it'd be a good one to put in the general public to show the general public what we do, what what defines us differently from the rest of the 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 clowns out there giving lessons. Cool. Um, good question, Darren. Excellent, excellent, excellent question. Um, anything 